Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today we will be installing Windows 8.1 on the CEX gaming computer and the only reason I'm doing this is so I can make a proper video about that HD 4650 graphics card which I was given. Unfortunately there is no Windows 10 drivers so today we will be installing Windows 8.1 now there is drivers for Windows 8 and I'm assuming that they will work on 8.1. The only reason I'm installing Windows 8.1 and not standard 8 is because I already have an installed disk for 8.1. It came with my CyberPower computer a few years ago and it's easier than me making an installer for Windows 8. So that's what we will be doing today. I've already put the DVD into a USB optical drive. It's on top of the computer. You can't actually see it right now. Well, that doesn't matter, so we are going to be trying to install Windows 8.1 onto this computer, onto a 128GB SSD that I've installed. So let's get started. Currently, the only operating system installed on the SSD I've put in there is macOS 10.5.8, and that is Leopard. It's the SSD that I put in the Power Mac G5, but I've taken that out because I didn't really need it in there. So we will be using that today, so I'll turn the computer on now and hopefully it will boot into the installer. Okay, I'll press the button now and it should just come up saying press any key to continue or something like that. And of course because I've got the HD4650 installed it's going to make a bit of a racket. But I've put the side panel on to hopefully reduce some of the silly noise. You can hear the DVD spinning up there, so it is reading it. And let's see what happens. Press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Okay, so I will do that now. And there we go, that looks like the installer is starting to load. Now this will probably be quite slow because it is optical media and going through USB 2, so it would probably be quicker if I put the installer on a USB, but I did not have the resources to do that right now, so this will have to do. Okay, it's been about a minute and it is starting to load, the swirly thing has come up, I'm not sure how long this will take though. And there we go, Windows Setup. So we want English United Kingdom for everything there. Let's click next and we are going to install now. And hopefully it recognises the SSD I've put in here because it is formatted for Mac OS. Okay, so we've got to put in the product key and I do actually have one. It's on the side panel of my old gaming computer that I'm in the process of rebuilding. So I've got the side panel, I'll put the code in, then I'll come back. Okay, I've just put the product key in. I don't want you to see this, so let's click next and see if it worked. And there we go, my product key worked. So now, of course, we're going to read all of the license terms here, aren't we? Yeah, accept that and next. Now, we're going to do a custom install. We're just going to install Windows only. We don't need to do an upgrade because there is no Windows on here. So, okay. Windows can't be installed on drive zero partition one. That makes sense because it was formatted for Mac OS. So what we are going to do is get the drive and we're going to format that. Now we'll lose everything that's on it but that's okay. And I've just formatted it and it still doesn't like it so I'm going to have to take the drive out of the computer and format it in a different one. So once I've done that I will come back. Okay it's the next day now and I've finally got the SSD formatted correctly. So it took quite a lot of attempts because I kept doing it and it kept saying that it couldn't install. But finally, after formatting it to XFAT, then back to NTFS, it is now working. So let's go ahead and choose drive 0 partition 4, that is the biggest one. So let's do that. And now it is going to install Windows and this may take quite a while. Compared to when I installed Windows 10, on a USB stick. This is taking quite a lot longer of course because it's going through an optical drive and I think the USB stick took about 20 minutes so this will probably take maybe an hour. I'm not sure. I've got the time so it doesn't really matter. 
Alright, I just left for a few minutes, I've come back and the computer is rebooting. It's now loading something, I'm not sure how far along it got because I wasn't in the room. Ah, now we get to personalise this. Okay, so let's personalise this computer, let's go for... Yeah, let's just go with that. What are we going to call the computer? Let's call it Tav PC. That'll do. Express settings, that'll do as well. It's been a long time since I've set up Windows 8.1, so I don't really remember all the things that we've got to do. I was checking for an internet connection, but I've not plugged in the power line adapter. So if it has a problem, I'll go plug that in, and then I'll come back. Okay, this is fine, it only wanted the internet to sign into a Microsoft account, but we're just going to create a local account, I'm not really bothered about that. Password, just keep it something simple. And a nice password hint there, and let's finalise these settings. Hi, we're setting things up for you. You can get new apps from the store. Now this could probably take a while. Alright, about a minute later and it's still installing my apps. Ah, oh, let's start. Okay, and into the start screen. This isn't something we get anymore. Everyone hated it, but actually I really liked it. And Windows 8.1 was actually my favourite version of Windows. Apart from the fact that there's no X on these programs, you've just got to drag them away. That's kind of annoying, but if you just stick to the desktop and right click the start button, everything you need is pretty much there. So I'm going to plug this in to the internet, then do all the updates, because I believe this is the first ever version of 8.1, so fairly outdated considering this came out seven years ago. So yep, yeah, I'll go and do that now. So I've just noticed in the bottom right hand corner it says Windows 8.1 Secure Boot isn't configured correctly. Now, I'm not sure what that means and I hope that that doesn't cause us any problems. Now I've set it checking for updates and it's been about 5 minutes and it's still checking. It's not found any to do yet but I know for a fact that there is some. So I'll just leave it going for a bit longer. And then if not, I'll try restarting and doing it again. So it says there was a problem checking for updates. So we're just going to try this again. If it doesn't work, I'll try and do what I need to do without having any updates. I'm not really sure if it will make a difference or not. Okay, so it has found some updates. And it says it will install them soon. Let's have a look. So there's important ones to do. And there's quite a lot that's recommended as well, but there's also some optionals. I'm not going to do the optionals now, but I will do the rest. So now I'm just going to let these install for a while. Really, that's all I wanted to do in this video. As long as these updates are successful, this should be the end of the video. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one, where hopefully we can properly test out that HD 4650. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. So there was a problem installing the updates. I don't know why, but I'll try and make the video anyway. Goodbye.